Coming into the winter, staying warm plays a massive part in whether you're gonna actually enjoy yourself or not, or at least is in my fishing. If I get cold, I'm not a happy angler. And if I'm not a happy angler, I tend not to be fishing at the best of my ability, which is why I wear warm socks, warm boots. I've actually got my long johns under these joggers. I'll let you picture that for a second. And then I've got a nice warm hoodie, t-shirt, and then a really warm coat, a hat. So all of my body is nice and warm during the day. But at night, I don't always want to be wearing all of this when I'm going to sleep, which is why we have decent sleeping bags. This is a five season indulgent sleeping bag and system. This is my personal one, but within this, is also a heated blanket. Now I've actually had one of these on my bed chair for the last year or so, at least in the winter months. So when Nash sent one out again for me to do a video, I thought, well, perfect, I can give this one away because I already have one for myself. So keep watching this video to find out how you can get your hands on this exact indulgence heated sleeping bag. But how exactly does it work? Well, it's nice and simple. In this box is a really thin blanket, basically, and it's got toggles all the way around. So all you do is attach them to all the corresponding loops, hook and loop points on the inside of your indulgence sleeping bag. It doesn't matter whether you've got this generation of one, a slightly newer one or an older one, because there's a lot of loops, you should be compatible with multiple different Nash bed chairs, including the, I think it's the Scope one. The This is the indulgence standard, the Wide Boy or the Compact. There's one that will fit you. Of course, the one I've got with me today is the standard. I've just realized it's upside down. That's a good start to the video, isn't it? There we are. This is the standard uh, size indulgence heated, heated bag. So this one just toggles in nice and simply on the very base of the mattress. And then you put your toppers, which I've got both sections on at the moment because it's coming into the winter, getting really cold. I like to have all that warmth. Now a sleeping bag works basically on retaining the heat that you produce and bring into it. So if you get into a cold sleeping bag, sometimes it can take quite a while for you to warm up because it's just keeping the temperature that you got in there with until you start to warm up slowly and then you're golden and it should retain the heat. So that's where having a really decent sleeping bag comes into its own as it keeps the heat in there and colder weather conditions you'll stay warmer for longer and much more comfortable. But if you can put something in there that actually gets the heat cycle going before you're even in it then absolutely brilliant because that's where this works. So if I can undo my sleeping bag one-handed there we are, is the lead for the heated blanket. Now this is just one of those cigarette port chargers. I think they're 12 volt chargers. So if I put that down, I've got one of the Nash power banks, which is actually gonna be a separate video. So make sure you are subscribed to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, including the one on these power banks. And I just pop that in there, make sure it's actually on on the power pack itself. There we go, and then it cycles through lots of different colors. Press it once and you have a white function. Now this is two hours of heat, but it starts off at maximum temperature and then tails off. So it's perfect for when you're getting into bed and you want it just to slowly release that power, release that heat, but start off intense and ease its way down to nothing whilst you've gone to sleep. Best on your power bank because it's not using it all the way through the night. Keeps you nice and warm once you're in there. Once you're in and settled, it should keep that heat in there like I was talking to you about. But there's some other, I've got it upside down again. There's some other modes as well. The next one is mode two, which is the rapid heating. So this is on full power and it should do, these are guidelines for a, what is it? A 77,850 milliamp power bank. Of course, this is gonna depend on how good the health of your battery pack is on whether these actual real world figures are gonna match up with yours. That's a really long winded way of saying, if your battery power is awful, it's not gonna be as good as this, but if it's better, of course, it might be better than this. These are just guidelines, but mode two is a rapid heat and that's full power for as long as you leave that button on. And if you've got a fully charged 77,850 milliamp power bank, that should last about 14 hours continuously. Mode two is sleeping mode high, so that's ever so slightly reduced power than mode two. You should get about 16 and a half hours out of that. And mode four is a sleeping mode low, so of course, so reduced power, not quite as intense, and that should last for 17 hours. So it's something that will cater to all of you, whether it's really cold in the depths of winter, you just need full whack, get yourself nice and warm in there, you can do that. Of course, it's gonna drain your power pack more rapidly, but if, like it was last night, we've had, it got down to about eight degrees last night where I was fishing, so not too cold at all, actually, for mid-November. But I did want a little bit of a, a something to take the edge off. So I put it on mode one, which is the white LED, or the white light that shows up on there, and that's full power and tails its way off to nothing. So when I woke up in the middle of the night because the wind and rain picked up, I noticed that the light was off, it turned itself off, but I was still nice and toasty. If I wanted a little kickstarter, turn it on again and it's completely up to me. So really simple to use, 
fits on all the different indulgence bed chairs and several other ones in the Nash range. And looking online, depending on which one you go for, if you go for the, I think it's the Scope Compact or one of the really small ones, it starts around the £75 mark. And as you go up, of course, the bigger ones you get, the more they're going to cost. But around the £80 to £90 is what I saw for most of these online. But of course, as I said, this one is up for grabs for one of you guys. So all you've got to do is comment on this video and that's it. You're entered with a chance to win this heated blanket from Nash. I'm going to keep hold of mine, of course. You don't want that one anyway, but there's a brand new one up for grabs for one of you. So please like the video if you did and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. And remember to follow us on all the different social media platforms coming up on your screen right now. Good luck for those of you entering the competition and I'll see you in the next one.